Ian, it's a defeat on the first home game. How are you feeling? Uh, disappointed. Um, had good spells. Had, had quiet spells. I think that was for both teams, though, and maybe some of the, the weather didn't help in terms of the heat. We, when we had our good spells and we were working extremely hard, um, they had their, their good spells straight after that. So it, it ended. It's, it's, um, I didn't think there was a lot between the two teams. I think the goal was an exceptional goal. We've had some opportunities to, to, to score from that, and we haven't been good enough in, in the final, final third. Um, and as I say, an exceptional goal from... 20, 25 yards, great strike. But I just felt in the second half it was starting to come. I felt we just got a little bit tired, game got a little bit stretched out, and uh, they started to hit us on the counter attack. But we, you know, we, had, we huffed and puffed for long periods, had some good spells, but just wasn't quite good enough in the end. Yeah, and, and like you said, there were a lot of good spells and pushing forward into the box perhaps more than you were last week. So those signs looking forward to a quick turnaround on Tuesday. We know Hungerford are going to play a very different brand of football or you'd expect them to at least based on what they have done traditionally are you taking that forward as a positive and knowing that it's a good opportunity on Tuesday well it, as I said to you last week Will you know there's no easy games in, in this league so you have to respect every team and you know we'll certainly do our homework between now and and Tuesday where we're concerned with Hungerford um, we have to be better than we was today in certain areas I felt the final third we we wasn't quite good enough. We got in some really good areas and didn't pick people out. Our, our decision making wasn't great. But I felt there were some really good performances there. I thought, I thought Joy McKenna and, uh, and Michael Clark had really good games. Um, and, you know, they're the little things that you've got to keep looking at. You've got to keep being positive. You've got to keep believing. Just spoke to the players in there. And, you know, they, they, they've, they've enjoyed today's performance. We just haven't been good enough in certain areas. And that's, that's things we've got to keep working on. I really felt we could have kept the ball a little bit better. And it's funny, we went 1-0 down and we haven't got a care in the world. And all of a sudden, everyone wants to get on the ball and start moving it. And we've created two or three great chances in that last 10 minutes. But, you know, we've got to be doing that in the first 10 minutes. And uh, we just need to make sure that when the game gets stretched out like it did in the second half, when players started to look tired and the heat was starting to take its toll, that we don't allow that to happen. We can't allow the game to get stretched out because I felt they created two or three really good chances in that period. And when they did score the goal, um, we could have already been 1-0 down. And as I say, it was a shame because I didn't think there was a lot between the two teams. I think it was two even games, but it's taken an exceptional goal to, uh, to defeat us today. Yeah, and obviously just squad-wise, it's a quick turnaround. You want to be able to rotate. Manash Landar, you said prior to the game, was on his way back. Mitch seems like he's fairly confident he'll be back. Are you hopeful that you'll have a full strength squad? I just think we've got to go wait and see and see how they react from, from what they've done today. Um, I'll speak to both players tomorrow. Um, just see what reaction is. Um, I'm sure Elise will do exactly the same in terms of where she is. And then we've just got to see if everything settles down um, for Tuesday night. I think Michael Clark's picked up a couple of both his calves today. We're not sure if it's a calf strain or it, it's cramp. So we're going to have to just assess him over the next 24, 48 hours just to see where he is. But again, you know, this, this, this start, stage of the season is very, very quick. There's going to be a massive turnaround of games at this stage. And we've got to make sure that you know, all our players are fit, ready to go. I think our fitness levels look good today. But it was, um, you know, the referee was very good, I felt. He allowed the water breaks to come on. Um, but players needed it in the end, and it was, it, it was tough in that heat. But if you don't keep the ball, it's, um, it's hard to keep winning the ball back. And I didn't think at spells today we kept the ball well enough. Right, thank you, Ian. Brilliant, Will. Thank you.